afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hero of Reich, Defender of the Fatherland. We are off here to the exciting one versus one on Eindhoven country here in the north. We got Beard of Socrates fighting for the United States of America for the second armored division, rolling ahead at full speed here, only to be held up by Warfield. Mercenary fighting here for the Wehrmacht with close air support, lightning war, and elite troops. He forms up the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division. He's got all MG 42 bullets, but he's getting two there right away. Versus Beard of Socrates with infantry bullets and a single EC8 bullet. He's also got armor, infantry, and rifle company. We got Grenadiers. Oh, we canceled the second MG 42 instead of Grenadiers, but there we go. We got one MG 42 out here and again. Three bulletins from Creep Air Fire, which will lead to a 12% increase in rate of fire there for the MG42. Points then secured rapidly under command of the United States of America. Pioneers moving up north at stairs, which is going to be focusing around the fuel pond there. Sensible choice, sensible choice. Grenadier following up here, Deutsches Infanterie. Of course, we've got Beard of Socrates himself rushing here for the western fuel point himself, so both flows in that way, angling for that. Nothing unusual there, nothing unusual there. Rather than heading towards the centre, rather than heading towards the east, a bit more spread out approach there. We've got. Now it looks like we are seeing Warfield here spreading up a bit as well. We've got the second MD42 that arriving. And we've got the MD42 setting up here. Perhaps not the best positioning. I mean, you sort of note the arc of fire. A lot of it's sort of basically taken up by, well, uh, the territory over the enemy really shouldn't be moving about anyway. So that's a bit of a poor setup. You'd be better off sort of trying to focus the arc of fire around. Here, since that's where the enemy is more likely to arrive from, if you're going to go through here anyways, he's more likely to go for the cutoff point first anyway, so... I'm just saying, I mean, overall, not the best MG42 setup there from Warfield right off the bat. we got the second MG40 arriving for him, though. Three right in here from Beard of Socrates. No son of doctrine from either side so far. Got some barbed wire going up to deny cover. As well... And go first engagement here in the west, Rabin versus gonna this gonna this Ah Heinz, you're taking so long day. And now he's running out in the open there. There we go, rushing for cover, rushing for Rabin going up there. Who shall win this? Who shall win this? Rabin taking a few shots there, we got some good damage there. There's the gunadiers, looks like the Rabin will win it. In particular up close. The semi automatic rifle there will have the advantage versus the bolt action. The other the gut the other MG42 there, but turn this base cover. Oh of course he could be luring in the Rabin there, in which case good. Maneuver there, good baiting there by Warfield. Tearing apart those Ravens, doing a lot of damage there, thanks to the MG42. Nicely handled there, nicely handled there, though still a bit awkward there with the gun of these, a bit awkward. MG42 there, not moving just running in again, it's not the best maneuvering there, we got some bar wire here on the Orbit Blitz as well, ensuring no Yankees can easily make off with it. We also there pushing around with MG42, point them secure, we got a second gun squad there, dying for Warfield, for Mr. Beard of Socrates, we got nothing going on in the base, no upgrade so far, no tech up. If we're going to go for any indicators, oh! I was about to say he might go for the captain, looks like the lieutenant was the plan all along, and there we go then, there we go. He's then being secured slowly. Got Robin straining hit towards the centre here, again, would have preferred a slightly better setup then, of course, that's also going to pretty much alert Beard of Socrates, once he sees how the MG4 is pushing, so you know, just take the northern route. Well, there you go, Robin is stopped, MG4 to really tang into them. And there we go, almost got up the Arctic 5, there you go, they were pinned down before that. Good shooting, Heinz, thank you, Herr Feldwebel. I try my best to kill as many Americans as I can in service of Deutschland. You know, before I joined the army, I wanted to be a dentist, so, you know, screaming in pain. Eyes of A. From there, though, flanking for the north again, really, here see the weakness of the server there from Warfield with the MD40 again. Not the best one at all. Swiftly set up, sent off there by Beard of Socrates. We've got a fuel cast up here. Interesting positioning, not by one of the closer points, but one that can easily be cut off there. I'm not saying the fuel cast was bad, but I have to question the positioning there for Warfield. Do we have any tagging going up? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, two rather than two twos. So not too heavy sort of setup there, though. The early fuel cast does strike me as a bit interesting. We got a lieutenant there arriving then for Beard of Socrates, still no upgrades. Fuel pond there lost, we got no immediate counterattack there from Warfield again. It probably could have better up. defended had the MG42 just been slightly differently set up. But there you go, counterattack with Grenadiers and an MG42 crew. Still no direction there from Warfield. Several could work. You could go for side of the lead troops and yet lightning wall, you know, uh, D43s, but also stun grenades for training here. There could be tactical movement and relief infantry. You could, of course, also go for that one just for some support, but 
That could be seen as well. Dolby got an A, half down the life of Beard of Socrates. And of course, he's going for a rival company himself, so that means small sort of elite. But interesting enough, he didn't go for it immediately, which is normally what you'd expect, you know, to get out some veteran rifle right off the bat. So, a bit more of an unusual usage of rifle company, perhaps not what some people like me would describe as the most efficient in posting up here. Again, can't really sit up there. He could post up here again, sort of far in there. Looks like he will do that. Still no grenades, there's still no grenades. The squad of Pioneers Another Pioneer, there we got Flamethrowers with the arm, there he goes, setting up, setting up, but over here. Not the best setup there, not the best setup. It's time to hit from the close elite troops, could save the day, he could save the day. Setting up again, rather than getting caught, but at the same time they're going to push right close to the MP40s. Up close, that could give the MP40s, there we go, chance to get in the way. So what shall Warfield do this Enemy time around? Moves ahead territory. there, fuel party while they're being secured. Armsman forced to push into the German team, MP42 setting up here on the small bastion got bunkers being prepared as well here interesting interesting rare you see a bunker there but the uh, aggressive bunker uses there from warfield of course he might find it all for naught there once the a half to garage of course he's not taked up he has to like him against company but he's not prepared whatsoever for any kind of light vehicles which against the americans is always a bit of a bad bet to a certain extent Of course, he's seen the lieutenant now. He's still not taking up. He's got the pioneers here, but there's no light to make an complete. No other attempt to focus on a tier three rush, though. I wouldn't recommend this now. And there we go. A half to engage in the bunker. He's also got machine in the bunker. But this point, just going to be cleared out so quickly there by the third submarine. Or, well, anti aircraft gun just tanked through. There you go. Pioneers forced out. And that's just based on 50 man pound, 60 news, and up the drain. I'm not going to say, you know, it's a fully bad idea. The problem was Warfield did this A at a but point close to his opponent, you know, there's an American player without necessarily sort of checking what he had without any preparation for, say, a light vehicle. And beyond, oh, at the same time, there might be a bit of slight vengeance over here. He might lose a banger, but he might be able to gain a greater hit there by actually wiping out the entire rifle score, which is a bit more expensive in the end, so not bad there. MD42, they cleared out, though, MD42 cleared out. Vetti to on the other one, by the way, there, so not all bad here for Warfield, but still, again, he does have to pay attention there. You have to sort of try to keep in mind what your opponent is capable of doing. There we go, like to make his company up. At the same time, though, he's taking out, of course. I mean, probably that fuel cast does a bit of playing, and of course, that does give Warfield here a bit more fuel. Plus, of course, we need to deny his points some more fuel. So, I mean, even with the A half tower, we can probably allow himself to sort of rush a bit ahead there in taking. Point hitting secure, we got the M42 still securing. A half to moving up, he could, of course, yeah. Of course, another problem here is a large part of the arc of fire, of course, is blocked into the terrain. He could try and go for incident runs. There we go, he does, he does. I'm going to rush straight into that and in negative cover too. And at least I'm going to get wiped out. Another bloody loss here for Ballfield and the 15 pounds of this. No, 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 no. Mike, make it, Mike, make it. Run, Heinz, run. You survived. Ah, oh, never mind. And they're going to force to push back. Basically, they're continuing. There's an A half to on the right. But of course, Mike might be able to do it. No pack 40. He's very low on troops at the moment. Very low on troops. A bit risky there. We've got Telemines. Ah. I'm not saying a Teleman is a bad idea, he probably should have one up soon if we're actually going to go for what he's going for. But he's a bit short there on troops, a bit short on troops. Still is ready to do some damage there to Beard of Socrates. So of course it's not all in vain, but there's definitely a lot of sort of hazard here for Warfield at the moment. we got a captain there on the way, interesting enough, so of course that might further again sort of emphasize his claim just for EC8s here. No upgrades. No nothing there. No support. Armor core, we've got more Kennedy's on the way though. He could have tried some Panzer Kennedy, but there we go, we have the Telemines. He could of course hope to try and bait the A half check into it somehow and just cleared out that way. Pioneers they need to retreat here before they're getting shredded there. Too many Americans plus an MP42 that's secured by the United States Army. And the second armored division. There you go, Lieutenant moving ahead there. A half check moving in. Got the fuel cast then again, that's why we're in a bit around here, or even here. I mean, this is actually a really good spot for a cast because it's very shielded due to the terrain here, so it's a lot harder for the opponent to immediately spot. There you go, there you open, also, he's so confident in this case, you have to be dealt with. Still, he has been able to get some fuel up, so of course, it's not a complete wash there for Warfield. Not a complete wash. Here, half to them about a bit. You know, Sarge, I have a really bad feeling about that road. I think we should try and stay off it. Grenadiers reporting of there. Got MD42 there. Getting kills. So on, so on. 
So Paul McCall finding it. I mean, it's certainly been a bit of a rush here, though, from Warfield and the fuel cast have put into it. But again, he hasn't really used the light to make it as complete. Of course, the question is why did he build it? I mean, he'd probably better off just going straight for the support McCall than he said, you know, building the light to make us. We probably could have had faster up, we could have had something up faster. So then, we should probably have to get out the stupid and get a pin my machine control to sort of add it and turn from your firepower on it. There you go, damage in here, the a half piece already got 11 kills, so it's really been a lot of damage there for Beat of Socrates. A lot of damage. Need a lot of troops to hang about on the base. Got an ambulance there arriving. Beep, beep. Sorry I'm late, guys. I got lost in the forest. Kept finding Adolf Hitler Strasse, but no, you know, frontline American base. Damn Germans. And there goes Strumgeschutz on the way there for Warfield. Placing a fuel cache there, at least Warfield is certain that he got, you know, a bit more focus, he's got plans clearly there, that is good. Come on, Sarge, the roads! I don't like them! I have bad dreams about roads! No. Don't be such a pussy, Corporal, it's just a road. Nothing bad can happen on roads, it's not like the Germans mine roads. I mean, they're not clever for that. They're too busy naming them all Adolf Hitlerstrasse. So don't worry. Pioneer Service the Rifleman. Veterans won their gained. Bum they pushed back with some rather heavy damage. I mean, we've got a lot of infantry here, plus with the only fortune other bits. I mean, Beta Socrates does have potent force courses too. Might just help turn things around though. Get the pencil on the machine gun. Get the machine in give here. Which in the case of the Stug was not actually meant for anti or anti aircraft support, but basically meant for sort of shooting infantry, sort of doing that. Latest models of the Stug T by the way would have a co actual machine gun for sort of added in anti infantry. Gun, of course, for vehicle focus, you know, not necessarily all bad, but you know, you shouldn't just do it per automatic when it comes to things like Stug, which still, you know, despite losing the OE, does have the scatter sort of allows them to work versus infantry. Plus, of course, the machine gun won't shoot unless it's on free fire. Yeah, uh, going to interrupt. Oh, it's being ah, strange to the mine. Right Sergeant Thoreau blown to bits, and there we go. Veteran to flee on the MD42 as well. That's him going to help Wolfwood up quite a bit. He's getting another MD42 there. No armor so far here. In fact, we're getting a lot of bazookas and BARs now here for Beard of Socrates. Now that's rare. He's actually up getting rough with each one BAR and one bazooka. It's actually quite a sort of potent combination. So we actually got a lot of BARs and bazookas now. So very heavy infantry there. Very heavy infantry. And I mean, in this regard, Warfield's going to regret, you know, ordering not to free fire, but also not getting machine guns. And others, you know, he could, you know, thin out a bit the, you know, the American forces as they rush forwards. He should also consider upgrading his rifle or getting some panzer gonna deal. Got a quick rifle there for me. Lieutenant Jones there. Stuart Light Tank here to support Beard of Socrates. Stuart Light Tank, got it is moving ahead. We've got the veteran for the M4 here covering a nice spot there. Captain and Bradford going to move into it. Unless he can't, except he can't spot it. Oh, there we go, there we go. Suppressors, but still might be a too late there. I don't think he's got no grenades as a Beard of Socrates. Might have caused might have a slight mistake there. There we go. Already pinned down. Stuart, of course, can't support it all. Again, had he ordered to free fire, probably could have got at least some kills. He had a machine gun on top, but again, Warfield, too focused here on it, you know, only dealing with vehicles. He forgets if it's an assault gun, not a tank destroyer, and those can deal with it, of course. Now he ordered it to engage manually, and of course, have to do a bit of damage there, but still. Instead, he ends up doing the damage by running them over. You're no fit, once I jumped his drum artillery, I hadn't imagined I'd be running them over. I figured he'd be shooting them. But you know, the major, he's a bit silly like that. MD42 fighting as well, good, doing some good chances. Could you wipe there? Could you wipe? MD42 they're also quite suppressed, though the veterans in MD42 are by way with 18 kills. Not doing badly there, a bit of heavy bleeding there for Beat of Socrates. He should have spread out his force a bit too much, it was just too much one wave there, and the MD42s were able to stop that. Though again, Warfield also made it a bit easier there for Beat of Socrates by A, again, not free fire, and B, no pintle machine gun. You got a motor up there on the way, and we got something else. We got a bank up to go sort of guard the eastern fuel point. Good, good. And the Beard of Socrates hasn't really harassed much on the flanks. There goes Stuart in getting the MD42. Stuart gets off some hits there. Getting up behind the shed. In fact, it's the only real anti tank we do see from Warfield at the moment. Almost got the Stuart there. Almost got the Stuart. Point secured. Just reinforcing. 
Nothing further here from the base. He could try for another school course. He might be in for some bigger pounces. Still no doctrine from Warfield. He really should consider something, though, at this point. Reinforcements complete. And again, we got all of Beard of Socrates' troops swimming about. I wonder, has he actually upgraded the lieutenant with an extra weapon? No, he hasn't. A lot of people forget the lieutenant can receive an extra weapon. I mean, it's really there's something good extra there for the lieutenant. For some another BR really makes him potent versus infantry. So I do feel that's a bit of a miss there by Mr. Beard of Socrates. Do repair it though. Moving out, he's not really getting a lot more infantry than again. He's, he's suffering some bleeding there at the moment with what he's got. Victory points wise, he's not having a he's having a controlling arm there. He goes to it immediately wipes the entire pioneer squad. A nice little rate there by the Stuart Light tank from Beard of Socrates side. Shooting hit there again. I'm not entirely sure what Warfield there's thinking with the shooting there, goes first himself to a bit of bazooka fire. Shot hitting through then there goes Stuart flanking this one, Stuart flanking as well. Almost got it, almost got it. In this case, though, Warfield got lucky that the Stuart did not pursue others. He probably could have ended up losing this Stuart there. He wasn't careful. Man engaging, keep running to the machine gun bunker. Good job there, good job there. Ram getting pinned down. Murdered there by two md 42 s Veteran Fleet and one. And there go Rations Force Wait. Stuart moving up there, Stuart moving up. Stuart slowly turning. And Ford takes a nice hit there from the Stuart. And there goes Stuart gets good back, hit back in the Stuart light tank. Almost got it, almost got it, almost gets one there in the Sturmke shots. Right from the holding of the BARs and bazookas. A lot of fire there they can actually deliver versus the Germans. And it's time here for the mid-game analysis of the Lieutenant, by the way, has been forgotten. In fact, the entire unit's almost right out here. The Lieutenant probably fell first, and the rest are sort of just panicked. Screaming, I don't want to die! And with no radio orders coming for to sort of get the, the hell out of there. Screaming the West there, but counter situation is... Warfield should probably consider getting some more armor. He's got the resource for some right now for a Panzer IV. That would be neat. An Austrian could also help. This is all the infantry here that Beard of Socrates has sort of set himself up with. He should also consider Doctrine right now. I mean, they could all work, but a pine would like to see for some lightning war. Tactical move with a good relief infantry would help get more troops on the field. Jaegers could be sort of used to upgrade the Grenadiers. He could also call in the Tiger if things go wrong. Plus, there's too good close air support and never hurts. He could also go for elite troops. He doesn't quite have the to sort of fully take advantage of all the stun grenades, troop training, and well, Jaegers upgrades, of course. Troop training could be good though for sort of veteraning up some for some his troops to sort of better levels. Panzer could also help, and I suppose the Tiger is also always welcome. Otherwise, I think you should you know once he got the arm out and chosen the doctrine, he should also consider adding in some Panzer Grenadier here to his force. Light machine guns are G43, so he should upgrade his guns. I'm surprised he hasn't, in particular the way that Beard of Socrates has been upgrading his rifle quite heavily. Rather makes it difficult and dangerous here for Warfield to, by the way, order it to free fight, get the pinnacle machine gun out, only order it to you know, focus on the vehicles when there's actual vehicle threats about. Otherwise, let it sort of at least attempt to deal with infantry and that way bleed out Beard of Socrates a bit better than what is currently going on, which is really not to the advantage there of Warfield, I think. A few more mines would also be good to sort of cover the flanks, otherwise more aggressive harassment, try and take back that fuel point against force, you know, Beard of Socrates will pull away towards there. A few mines around here would also be good, in particular Telemont, because there's likelihood there yeah, it's going to help tanks to try and clear out the bank if you can sort of lure them into a mine, that could then allow them to sort of follow up with a stew to deal with it, so that could work. For Beard of Socrates, a few catches himself would be good, he's clearly aiming there for the EC8, that's alright, but I do think you should get an anti-tank and at least a pack out of just something extra, at least an anti-tank gun, you know, that could also be a way to deal with the bunker. So sort of clear that out, and I'll actually provide myself with some extra anti-tank support. He should also perhaps you get out, you know, maybe a second still that could work, but that might be a bit much. I'll actually have him just laying down some mines here and there, so you know, draw in German troops. Also get the lieutenant another weapon. I would also suggest getting the grenade package for grenades, but also smoke screens to sort of help cover up the infantry versus the MD-42s, in particular that vet 3 MD-42 is going to be a sheer problem there for Beard of Socrates. If he gets off some good incendiary rounds, for example, against, you know, Socrates' troops. Beyond that, there's not so much of his common dominance, you know, more harassment on the flanks, sort of try and flank about and sort of catch that Stuka bit of gut, but also the vital MG 42s. If we can get those, that would be really good. And of course, the second steward could further help with that. That would allow him to sort of create a small mobile raid force. They could sort of, for example, quickly outmaneuver the MG 42s, for example, drive around here, catch them behind, stun the Stuka, and then sort of deal with that quickly with a high rate of fire. I mean, that could very well be a good option there for Beat of Socrates in sort of dealing with the Stuga and the MD-42s. 
That's rather it. Let us return here to the fight. More bazooka fight. Lieutenant there annihilated. Too slow retreating there. Got Ravna. They could try and flank around as well, by the way, but uh, Beard of Socrates seems to have forgotten it. They're just sort of mining the roadwork here. That's a really nice turn, Joe. There you go, Ravna flanking in. Panther 4 is on the way. Ravna here stri striking in. And there you go, caught by the machine gun bunker. Too slow there. Too slow to take advantage of things. So press, we got the troops falling back there, so Ravna moving in there, forcing back though. Nice back though, nice back though, Beard of Socrates. Too bad that he wasn't able to take full advantage of it. I was probably gotten that uh, Sturm Geschütz. Sherman EC8 here available for Beard of Socrates now. Ravna almost denied here by the Gnarvna for the artillery that Warfield has pulled off, and there we go. Sherman EC8 arriving. There you go, otherwise decent push there by Beard of Socrates, though not the w best in the world. And there you go, Pani's to a little bit of flank, the best of few pump in this case to suit this quick track and to deal with it. We could even see a wipe there against the Pioneers. Hit. Still no free fire, still no pin from our machine gun. I'm a bit disappointed there, but of course the Panther Force should have up here for Warfield. He just needs to get in here bloody well moving. And not driving through fields of raspberries. And there goes Duke getting outflanked here. Where's that bloody Panther for and where are the Panther Faust? Again, not really good position here of the stoop by Warfield. He seems to not be touched or to use them. Getting the troops out there, and we get Panther Tish in there. Still can't be seen. He's using an attack round. Of course, it could be a seen an attack round here as well. There you go. EC8 out of control. Church turning. No, church turning. No. Nine. The stoop was knocked out. A vengeful crew before the ammunition burst, cooking the entire lot. Gets to Stook. Of course, the crew. Might afterwards and hell ask themselves, was it worth it? But there you go. Stuart managed to escape there, but that was one Stuart. I would have to say, though, this was actually a trade off to the advantage of Warfield. I mean, the EC8 is more expensive than the Stuart. On the other hand, I do think, you know, Warfield could have done a lot more with that Stuart beforehand, so, you know, some issues there as well. And before True, they've been quickly dealt with by the Panther 4. No pin from Amsterdam, so I'll deal with the infantry. Bit of a shame there. Still no further infantry either. He could of course try and aim for another Sturm Geschütz. Let's do it there. And we got again lots of bazookas in the hands of Beard of Socrates troops. MG42 pushed back here by the Panzerkampfwagen. Big two points advantageous towards Warfield. Got more pioneers there on the way. 21 kills on that MG42. And we got a white phosphorus barrel called in there. Some wily peaked. So a lot tank getting ready. Got a lot of riflemen there. Could try and stun it there with shell shot. That might allow the riflemen to get some good hits. No shell shot instead of focusing on the Grenadiers. Instead, got a pan will take some hits there from the bazookas. Exposed the rear to the bazookas. Very bad idea there. No. Ah, oh, shite. Get out of there, Fritz. Popping smoke there, but that was a bit of a dangerous maneuver right there from Warfield. Bit of a dangerous maneuver. Bazooka firing away. Halfway to Wolves. Fetch you through there for the Stewart. MP42 there opening up, Incendiarounds would be good here, Incendiarounds would be good in particular since Warfield or Beard of Structure still is not in force or getting smoke grenades or anything like that. Come on, Incendiarounds there, Warfield. Nothing getting pinned. Oh, good hit from the Panther 4 there. And we got this BAR drop there, could be secured there by the Germans, but we got down to one gun. It is what looks like he might be aiming for a Tiger S now. Can he ball to there? He ball to Getting more grenadiers, all right. He's not aiming straight for it. That's something. He still should upgrade the grenadiers, though, and he should definitely secure that BAR just for at least a bit more firepower versus all the Americans. Central Stuart, though, still hanging on there. 20 kills. Not bad. Not bad. He's definitely done a lot there to bleed out. Warfield, he could try that by the use to clear out the bunker here if he wanted. Open up with another Grenadier front there. More bazookas. More everything being handed out here too. Beard of Socrates' troops, he's certainly uh, fond of using bazookas, spinning some rather lightly on the troops. But in that way, he's actually getting quite a few bazookas we're talking, at least, you know, one, two, three, four, five, seven bazookas. That's actually quite a bit of damage they can actually do versus a tank in a sort of any longer engagement. If you saw you use your infantry right, just to ensure they don't get, you know, slaughtered in a few shots. And of course, he might actually equip the rear stunts with more than one bazooka. No, he hasn't, just one, but still, seven bazookas, that is quite the potential for damage. And there you go, BAR in the hands of the Grenadiers. 
So you should be able to sort of have a good chance of he's doing some decent damage there to the Panzer IV. More bunkers being laid down here by Warfield. He seems fond of them. Nice to see that. I mean, a lot of players don't necessarily use bunkers that much. But again, I am seeing the sort of after the patch being used last bit more. I'm seeing more machine gun bunkers. Even command bunkers. There you go. Got hit in the Stuart again. Stuart very close there to Vector 2 by the way. Panda for itself halfway. He could pull it back to the base and use troop trains to get to Vector 2 picker. That would be a good move, I think. Oh, find a pin from that machine gun for something. Fought in the building, more could be used to clear it out in service of Deutschland. There we go. This is going to be machine gun bunker, here's going to be a command bank to help his troops and move forward, but it's encountered a lot of Americans. We also got an anti-tank and they're ready to support Beard of Socrates troops. Panther Hall forced to fall back here, lots of heavy fire. Not a really lot of action then the flanks again is sort of falling towards the centre. He's putting the MD4 to in the bunker. And he can't really hit the enemy troops, it seems, or there's some kind of bug, and the MP42 won't fire out of the bunker, interestingly enough. Very odd there, very odd. So it knows a bit unfortunate. Oh no! Bunker collapsed. United the Italian, that was definitely rather unfortunate. I didn't know that about bunkers. And again, I'm guessing it's a bug. Rather unfortunate there, but the city probably should pull out the MP42 as it was about to collapse. And there you go, got another easy hit there, rank the feet of Socrates. There's a bit of top of all the riflemen. Hands well moving up again. Mortar crew cleared out there by the large American force charging forwards. Concussive grenade test on some of the map and the other MP42 is nowhere to be seen. It's still covering that point there. Bit of miss there. Grenadiers are wiped out. BAR's got them by the Grenadiers again. And there we go. Vector 2 for the Panther 4, though it is heavily damaged. Need to pull back and repairs. Need to pull back. Orbit super shots there flying through it towards it. Lightning and Heinz pulls back his pants and. Hopefully has the crew survive. We got a flak panzer on the way there. Flak panzer. So far no interest towards the tiger race there for Warfield. Of course he might just be in for more armor before he gets it. Part of me probably should get another panzer for or a Stug to support the panzer for there if he's safe going for the ace. But it's just my thoughts. We have a full compliment. Yes. But very little infantry left here for Warfield. Beard of Socrates having a stronger unit preservation here for the time being. Point is being overrun. And from that point, the MD42 on his phone. Rather risky, they could easily end up losing it. Stuart there repaired, by the way. Very close to it, T2. MD42 needs to get away, needs to get away, needs to get away. But no movement there, unless they can hear the rumble of engines in the distance. And there you go, Flat Panzer arrives here for Warfield. And there you go, we're going to do here with the bunker, finally. Cleared out and another one ending up there. We got a storm good shoots on the way now for Warfield. A storm good shoots more. And there's the bunker has been cleared out. Oh, he's moving over the flak pants and the pants for there. And I'm going to be He pulled back that he was worried about something. Nego bunker and Ali got Betty through there for the Stuart. And there you go. Flak pants was up. Does not try to get past it to the block the road there a bit more. Got the there with the Zuka. Flying up then the flak pants are gaining veterans to one. Still trying to escape here, looks like it's been the range of two, so Stuart Gitter is halfway done. Stun rounds here might be good. There we go, Shell Shock. Allowing it to escape here from the Panzer Kampang. Got these hitting up as well. Stuart barely escapes here the wrath of the Panzer Waffe. Oh, that's practically all that is left now for Warfield. He's only got Pioneer 74-2s and well, mostly armor now. The rest have been killed in less than grand ways. And there we go, Storm Gishud survives here for Warfield, second one. He's hit the engaging the Panzer Kampfwagen. Quick smoke uses there though, just to escape. Need of Socrates working sort of turn around the victory point situation. Stuke just needs to be careful there. Careful Warfield, 4-6. Panzer for done. Crew ready. At this point, of course, Beta Socrates should have seen the stun grenades, for example, and probably thinking, oh, he's probably going for elite troops, so I might have to expect an ace. In which case, if he's getting in front, I'm beginning to lay down mine to be quick to us, that could instantly mobilize the ace, rendering it notably less uh, harmful. And there you go. Engagement there between the Panzer 4 and the EC8. We've got the troop joining in there, Stuke joining in, forcing away the EC8. 
Right, we have some tweaks to have a few points. Time to get that easy. Ah, oh, shot's missing. That pen's going to attack. It's halfway to Vets and Flea, by the way. Which is definitely pulled back from pairs. So you can consider using troop training to get towards Vets and Flea. Oh no, he's engaging the rifle. There's too many with the Zookas. Pull back the Panzer. Pull back the Panzer. Blitzkrieg pops back. Oh! Warfield, you tit. That was a wasteful engagement. You know that Panzer was not going to survive any kind of engagement like that. That was definitely pushing it too far with that kind of health. Zoom up here taking a lot of hits there from the Bazooka and the ECA. Where's the one? But really, what is Warfield here thinking? What is Warfield thinking? Stuka annihilated! Warfield just seems at that moment just be throwing it all away. Creations there wiped. Small victory there for Warfield, but uh, he's definitely playing for the Tiger Race now. But really, was it really necessary to waste that veteran panzer and that Sturmge shots? In particular, the loss of the Panzer Ball galled me a bit there since it was so close to its new fleet. I mean, that would really have been a huge hazard for Warfield since it had a high rate of fun, good mobility. And that would have meant a lot in most engagement of both versus infantry but also versus the armor. And there we go, we got Nays out here for Warfield, a Tiger Race. Summoned up to maybe try and save Warfield from the disaster he's landed himself in. Mostly for his own devices. The Zuka territory. dropped by the way, then there's no one to pick that one up. Ace is on the prowl, then he's careful. Of course, we've seen no indicator cause number 10, but still that could be there. Sneaky players might just sort of, you know, not use it for engagement initially. And there you go, more to be cleared up by the Ace. There you go, quick change to the anti tank gun. No armor piercing rounds there, by the way. Here to Socrates shoot you, some people looking for a better chance of penetrating the Tiger Ace. None of that, none of that, and they go cleared up by machine gun fire. Just got, wiped out. got the steward there moving about in behind. Enemy lines a bit risky, then he gets caught by the ace. Clearing out the anti tank gun. EC8 waiting cap for something. He's close with him to hold in another one. Anti tank gun wrecked there by the tiger ace. And then going to be forced to control here with the steward light tank. Looks like they're going to do that. And there we go. Second EC8 arriving here for the Edo Socrates. Black Panther moving to support where we've got Pioneers running about here. But they were apparently the 15th Panzer in the digital can master in this sector. Ready. Go ahead. AT gun ready. Moving into the cut off retreat path. That's not bad, not bad. There you go. Might get, get this to it, might get this to it. No stun though, no stun. Ah, still man is right there. Go Pani is taking the wrong path. The moving straight to line up of the enemies. Ace, nope. Channel around the front, he's exposing the rear, he's exposing the rear there. Ah, Blitzkrieg, popping smoke there, popping smoke. Can you escape? Channel around there. Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg, no, he keeps the enemy in the front there. Poor handing there, the ace, poor handing the ace in the wall, finishes Blitz and gotten the hell out of there, to be honest. Trying to hold his enemy, he's all too close there. Needs to keep moving, needs to keep moving. Getting another stool, but it's too late, it's too late. I fear he should use target weak pony, by the way. Too late, no, ah, no, no, keep moving, keep moving. Ah, don't stop up. Got one of the easy hits, got one of the easy hits, but there we go. Shotman through, shotman through, Tiger Ace cooked up. The hero of Germany lost forever. There's still the flat pan, we got the Stug almost ready, but this is so terrible for feel terrible. There you go, flat pans are in ruins as well. Now he says down to one in before two upon here and another Sturmgeschutz. Now he's really got nothing left, to be honest. Again? It's an assault gun warfield. Yes, it's better versus tanks now, but it's still good versus infantry, if you know how to use it. In fact, in some ways, it's probably better since it scatters less, meaning it's more likely to hit its targets. And from the enemy for 2 it's pretty half good, but uh, why do you keep doing this warfield? Game to kill with MD42, which is nice. At this point, it rather feels too late. And go rushing MD42 to the other MD42 plus the angry American. Stoop then being rushed ahead here. Still moving up. The Sukas are plenty. There goes Stoop almost down to half level already. No shell shot though. Almost got the Sturm Gishuts. Easy hit moving up as well. 
there we go, Sturm Geschütz kaputt, and that's pretty much GG right there, and there we go, surrenders, surrenders. Game over there, a loss for Warfield, a victory for Theater Socrates, in some ways an interesting fact, we saw some aggressive taking choice there from Warfield, aggressive use of bankers. The problem was he had a rather peculiar knack for making some really unfortunate decisions, again his decision to always order the stroke to only focus on vehicles, Never gaining a pinlight machine can really miss a lot of time opportunities to reduce some damage to enemy infantry several times. I mean, that was definitely some poor decision making. A slow choice of doctrine didn't help either, but also just, you know, for example, that engagement right here. Terrible decision. Terrible decision. He sort of kept on. He meant had, his strategy was actually pretty solid in some regards, but there were sort of some quite large gaps. For example, he never upgraded his gun. He's not even with the G43, it's no Panzer gun is sort of thrown in to sort of assist. He's only relied on two interest goal, which is rather risky, in particular as all that. I'm not saying, you know, don't game your forces, but you have a nice mix. And then it's a rule of thumb, minimum three of squads, of, you know, infantry squads of three is good. You rather upgrade only a two, which was rather what I've hurt him to a certain extent as well, but you know, just some good strategy. But tactically, Warfield's sense was rather off several times. And again, the Stooks was one of them, but also you know, that engaged their Panzer IV, almost 53, low on health. What does he do? Engages the enemy who has a lot of bazookas and probably a tank nearby. Terrible decision. Terrible. So when he really needs to work on that, also that one over here, that early bunker there with no anti tank whatsoever, decides to plunk it down there. I can. Admire the audacity, but you know, he was playing Versi Magni, done nothing to check if there's something could arrive to quickly clear it out. So, some problems there. But overall, again, strategically nice, but tactically, Warfield has a lot to work with. A lot to work with in some regards. I mean, he got some good play, but also some pretty terrible play. Beat of Socrates also played nicely. Good use of the Stuart, though. Good use of the Stuart. I would like to see maybe some more cell shocks there, some more flanking. The rifleman with BAR Bazooka combo turned up pretty handsomely. Could have seen some actors with grenades or smoke grenades, some more smoking from the tanks would also been good, but no, nicely played there by Beard of Socrates. So, there you go, I hope you enjoyed this match, I hope you learned something from it, I hope it gave you ideas for matches, if it did, want to subscribe, tell a friend, share with everyone. If this is a pill, cheers, and thank you for watching, and see you all tomorrow, bye!